What's up guys, this is Tlashe and thank you for watching. I quickly want to show you just the feedback of the last war we've had. Um, in a previous video you guys saw what happened to Meleu Dragon. So in this last war we actually won with one star and it went down to a very last attack that we actually defended. Uh, instead of the enemy getting three stars, they actually only got two stars and then we won the war. So here, let me quickly show you, we've got 145 experience, so we are 35 experience away from level 2. Let me quickly show you, we actually, we've had Nick and Kat visiting us, um, they are two top players. Kat is actually number 93 on our local leaderboard, and they actually did quite a well job. Kat managed to actually get um, two, three stars on their number 3 and 4. We've got a few good attacks I want to show you, one of them is... Quinton's attack here. This is actually this attack was quite special. Uh, the reason for that is, as you can see, it's a um, Town Hall 8 account, uh, the village. And if you're doing, as you can see, Quinton's got three. I mean, he's got level three dragons now. Whenever you're doing an all dragon attack, your biggest threat to your attack is the air defenses. So what we what he tried to do here is to take out the air defenses. Um, you actually sometimes if the base allows it you'll be able to take out more than one air defense even before you drop your dragons so this is what Quinton did he dropped three lightnings on the far right air defense and then he requested for hogs in his clan castle and then those five hogs actually came out and took out the second air defense as you can see there and then for ten dragons to finish off one air defense and then the rest of the village it's actually pretty basic so I'm just gonna forward this a little bit so as you can see he just drops out his dragons and then they pretty much just swept through the whole base and like I say if you're doing a dragon attack if you can get rid of the air defenses then you should get a three star quite easily so this is why this attack actually I mean he ended this attack with like seven dragons left so um, that was a very good attack so when, remember that whenever you're doing a dragon attack, try and get rid of the air defenses as soon as you can. Alright, so that was the one I want to show you guys. Um, another one that went really well um, is this attack from Ray. This is a go wee wee that he did and um, this is a premature tunnel 10, but it's still, it's got, it's very wide this base. Um, let me quickly pause this up. As you can see, all the defenses are spread out quite wide. It's got arch towers and cannons at the bottom here behind walls. You know, and it's it's a pretty big base if I can put it that way. So they dropped down his three golems already. As you can see, and let's quickly follow the rest of this raid. He then drops a witch, his queen, and he starts spreading out his wizard so that they take out the sides of this base so that when he drops his... Um, well, when he drops you know, the clan castle and some more witches that actually go into the center. So, as you can see, the spells that he brought with is two healing, one rage, and one jump spell. So, there he uses the first rage spell, and most of the troops actually goes into the rage and starts taking out the center. So, here he drops his clan castle, more witches and wizards come out. So, at the moment, he's got one, there he drops the second healing, or first healing spell, but the second spell. And most of his troops are now actually entering the center of the base. He's got wizards going around the top there. And he's got some wizards and a witch going around the bottom here on the left hand side. So here we go. He's got lots of troops in there. Two golems I think still alive there. Drops his another healing spell. It um, uses the queen's ability. Fortunately he's got like four witches that's actually just popping out little skeletons all the time. Um, so over here he actually uses the jump spell quite nicely so that his troops can just quickly get into those last two compartments where most of the defenses are. So there his golems jump over. Now over here, I think he loses one witch. But as you can see there, um, as soon as the queen gets in front here, the witches start trailing behind again. So all in all, there a giant bomb takes out a few skeletons and one or two wizards. But it's not the end of the world. He's still has his queen, he still has I think three witches running around so they are still pouring out all these little skeleton stuff, Larry's or whatever now he drops the rest of his wizards to help sweep up the side and then as soon as the 
golems got targeted by this last three defenses it just made it so much easier for the wizards to take out the cannons and the archer queen to take out the rest of the defenses so there you go with enough time I think even to spare and lots of troops left this was a very nice three star lots of troops used that is a massive list of troops but anyway so well done Ray that was also a very good attack um, another good attack uh, with this if we have lots of them because everyone did actually quite well we just three starred all their bases except three so um, this was quite a good war for us and uh, like I say with the help of Nick and Kat we actually managed to get max troops for our donations and stuff so I'll quickly show you here it's 39 38 we won and we used up all but one attack so yet again because of good clan participation from everyone in the clan we managed to w win this one um, so there we go I've shown okay there's one Nick has got on, on that number two he managed to get a good uh, solid win so that was also that's the most heroic attack and then Quinton had the most heroic defense because their number three actually made a bit of a, a hash you know he made a bit of a you know uh, what's the word yeah big mistake on Quinton's base um, don't have time to show yet to you guys but anyway guys so this is now what happened in the last war and at the moment we just started another war just after that so we don't usually do that but because we are so close to having level 2 we decided to just do another war so we have another 15 on 15 so I will do another video at the end of this one and you guys can see what has been going on but it looks as if it's a quite even matchup except I have to take out a town hall 10 but I'll show you guys in the next video and the rest of them I think it's going to be quite easy but anyway guys thank you for watching and what I want to show you guys is just our clan experience here we'll see we are 35 away from becoming level 2 so we are very excited um, so yeah we might actually war more often because even if you lose you still get like 60 or 70 percent of the experience so we might war more often and level up quicker so our clan members can have nicer perks so anyway guys thank you for watching and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and wish us luck for, for this war but thanks again. Yeah, I didn't do face cam now because I actually my iMovie is busy updating so I can't use it. So hopefully it's finished by the time I want to make this video and upload it. But anyway, that's enough from me. I'll see you guys again sometime. Cheers. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Please check out the video on the left and on the right if you haven't yet. And remember, you stay classy San Diego.